and now we're on the final stage I have put the first of my raspberries in the bottom of my bowl I have beaten up my wonderful mascarpone cream whiskey and uh, icing sugar um, so that, to a point where it supports nice soft peaks um, that doesn't take very long to do at all and it'll depend to some degree um, on on how warm your kitchen is but that that beat up easily um, with a with a um, an electric whisk in um, 20 or 30 seconds okay what you now need to do uh, and of course I've got my lovely crunchy you can hear that lovely crunchy um, Kranaken crunchy bits to go in the uh, into it, it, into the trifle so I've got raspberries first and I'm going to put in a set of um, should have had a large serving spoon and then I'm going to put in some lovely creamy mixture this bowl this is really too small an amount for this bowl but um, I wanted to show it because it gives you a nice picture of the layers you then want to put a good layer of crunch in there so if you just sprinkle that in and if you have any left well if you can get all of it into here without it being pinched I think you'll be doing really well uh, because in our house it tends to get stolen uh, then I'm going to put some more raspberries one of the reasons you want to make sure that your layer is good and crunchy um, is you've got these lovely sweet gooey raspberries going in and don't put all of the juice in um, because it'll go slightly soggy but it's a lovely thing to add to your muesli or um, to um, any other kind of dessert that you've got um, there's not a lot of it but it, it, it can it can make it a bit soggy if you're not careful and one of the lovely things about this is how crunchy that layer is uh, it is exceedingly moorish and it in as i said in our house i have to fight to get it uh, into the dessert so i've now got my second layer of raspberries and it's looking rather pretty i then need to add another layer of cream and this obviously is going to be um, a bit spread a little thin in this bowl but you get you'll get the idea if you just ease that across the bowl so that you're creating a, a nice layer And then and I've got to resist the temptation to lick my fingers it's one of my so you've got a pretty looking crunch there and then you want a, a really good crunchy layer on top if you've got um, more mixture obviously you can create three layers but this will do really nicely and uh, my other half will be very pleased to know that there's some extra crunch for him and then if you'd like to make it look pretty just sift some icing sugar on top to serve it's a really easy um, dessert to make. I think it looks really impressive. When you make a full recipe in this bowl particularly, it looks fantastic. Um, and then you just take spoons full of that, lift it out, put it in a bowl and enjoy because it really is a nice dessert. And as I said, that's a half recipe. You could actually take it down to a quarter recipe and use a small bowl. So there's no need to feel that you're going to be eating it all week. But equally, as we had last year, you can work it, you can double it up and make a really big batch if you've got a party. So I hope that some of you at least will make this on Saturday night and enjoy. Thank you very much.